Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another stream, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. First time, Janet. Jesus, Janison. How you doing, my friend? It's great to see you here. Hey, hey, still working at the minute. So, lifting, lifting, pep, pep, lifting, lifting, lip, 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 lip. Fail. Listening up. <laughs> we reset. We're resetting. Words are difficult. I blame Let personally. Fuck you, Let. What the shit? It's all Let's fault. Maybe it's Aaron's. Fuck you, Aaron. They're both right. No, Let isn't here. It's got to be Aaron's fault. Hope you're having a wonderful day at uh, work, Jensen. And uh, it treats you well. And you can get home and chill out. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. It's great to see people here. We have Aaron. We have Amarilla. We have Damster. Super amazing to have you all here. Welcome, welcome. Um, well, the plans for today... We're doing what Space Engine is. Um, there is no hole. The hole is a lie. Um, hashtag no ho hole cult. And we are going to be flying around, uh, adding more to the grotesque pink cow print mining machine. Uh, I did a little bit of work yesterday. Uh, you still haven't sent me the sound bites. You're right, Damster. I forgot. I actually wrote it on my phone and it is next to me. It is on my to-do list, so I will look at doing it after the stream today. Just remind me. Remind me so I remember, because brain, difficult, hard. Me no thinky after worky. Me tired. So, uh, I popped on Space Engineers a little bit uh, yesterday evening. I popped in it for a little bit when I got home from work. I've done a, um, a little bit of renovating in the little space base that we had. It was disorganized. I couldn't withdraw anything, so I chopped it all down. I replaced the refinery with the industrial one, just because it looks nicer. It got, it was the same cost. I replaced the, the assembler with a the industrial one, because it also looks nicer. I redid the routing of all the pipes. I put a couple of new small storage containers in, so it all just flows. It's easier to grab stuff. We also now have a cryo chamber, a medical bay, an O2 generator, and an ice uh, cargo container. Because when I logged on, I was dead. I was dead. Uh, I was back on Earth like in my base because apparently you can't log off sitting in the seat of a spaceship which has oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. The game doesn't like that. You die. So I was dead. So I flew up into space, went back to my ship, made my stuff, and built the stuff. So now we don't die. You see? Five head thinking right there. Um, it is always your fault, Aaron. You know it. Uh, yeah, he forgot the part except the holes he likes and approve. I have never admitted to liking or approving any holes, Amarilla. I'll have you know. Maybe I'm just a no-hole kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? No holes! Uh, damn, so don't have much time for it at the moment either, so we've got loads of time. Absolutely. Because I've added Let's uh, and Aaron's lately to the, to the, uh, the sound pad... I need to go through and delete the, the random things and put them into a folder. And then I will zip it and I'll fire it your way on Discord if I'm able to do so. Um, Amarilla approves donuts with their holes. I just need to buy some jam. And see, I'm so anti-hole. I buy tin bits. I eat the bit that the hole was made from to deny the hole on a whole new level. You see? So I eat Timbits. No holes. We eat the thing that the hole was created from. That is ultimate rebellion. But ladies and gentlemen, enough waffling on. It's been a long day. Let us jump in some space engineer action. Um, Sirius loves... Oh, no! No! Don't you start. There's enough people... Loving the whole, whole thing. You do not need to get involved with the holes as well. <laughs> the more denial does not confirm it. There's projection and there's just no. This is a no moment. <laughs> you have a floofer beside me. I have nothing beside me. Apart from awesome game content. Booyah. Get at my level. So, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to show you. Oh, God. This is horrible. Wait. I forgot it's over here still. Oh, God. Ah, oh, much better. Wait. Yeah. 
There we go. Right, camera's in the right place. Man, that threw me off for a minute there. We didn't change it after playing our words he gave yesterday. Um, so I'll quickly show you what the, the differences are. By the way, if anyone wasn't for the stream yesterday, we've created a little um, space docking thing here for our awesome ship uh, that is here. The, the new mining vessel that we're making, this monstrosity that everybody made me paint pink cow prints is vile. And it's here. And this is the little base that we had. It's expanded just a little bit. Uh, this is now the... This is the refiner. It's got some speed modules on it. So the idea is when we drop off the ore in here, it's going to uh, go along here into this container here. This then sucks into this, which then refines it. It pulls it up here into here. As you can see, it's making stuff at the minute. Um, and when these resources are needed, they go into the assembler, which then gets sucked out and the components in. If you have a look, I have been busy. We've got some more medical components. We've got some thruster components. We're now making gravity computers. I made I made a few more bits of everything um, because we were running low on stuff and it was being really grindy. So as you see, the conveyor belts are new. It goes up and over. It's a lot more tidy. This has three speed modules on it. Uh, we have the batteries. I just put three different... Well, well, two... Yeah, three different... war. Wait, did I do two or three? Two, three. One, two, three different batteries. The warfare ones, they're fully charged. We still have the nuclear reactor. I put some um, uh, armor around it rather than the big blocks. And then here is our cryo chamber, O2 producer, uh, chest for ice with our medical base. So now we can um, fully heal up. So... Hey, now I'm gonna have to use it already because somehow I just like you know just wrecked myself. So this is the uh, this is the new improved little space base that we've got. Uh, so we are basically gonna be continuing building. Why is that gonna? I'm not even gonna ask questions. There's also iron on that. I might go mine that. But this is what we're gonna continue building. We needed to finish doing the thrusters. So we're gonna go ahead and do the thrusters. We also need to put a beacon on this thing. To need a beacon, we need steel plates. If we go over here, you'll see uh, we got a few extra steel plates on the go. Boom. So let us quickly do a beacon. I don't quite know where we're going to put it. I want to put it somewhere where it doesn't look disgusting. This color needs to go away. This color needs to disappear right now. There you go. Okay, okay. now I feel a little bit better. Uh, we're going to see if we just if we got the components for this. We do. We have the components for this straight away already. Boom. So now we've got our beacon down here. We're going to go to here. Type in beacon. We're going to grab this. And we're going to go Siri space stuff. Whack this the, the projection up. Uh, and boom. There we go. So we now named our space base. Siri space stuff. Um, what have we got down here? Cucumber... Why are we talking about cucumber? That we're just gonna pretend that never happened yesterday. That was um, that was an interesting stream. That was that was interesting content. I feel like I might have lost the plot uh, a little bit. <laughs> I think I might have got a bit hysterical. I think um, my brain might have just completely gone to another planet, and I got the giggles, and everything was hilarious. But it made, hopefully it made you guys laugh. So that's brilliant. Yeah, that's all I really care about. It's an artistic decision. Pineapple pizza. So I, I like my pineapple raw. I don't want it hot cooked on a pizza. That shit is not nice. Cold? Yes. Hot? No. Uh, but what is your question, Aaron? Please, you go on. You think you I burnt it? In it wasn't that bad. I haven't mentally damaged you. Surely. Essa, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How's your day going? How are things with you? You're not mentally scarred from the content yesterday, are you? <laughs> I feel like the content was... Absolutely spot on yesterday. Absolutely spot on. 
a few more reverse thrusters on this bad boy. Then we're going to start building this up so it looks super sexy. He's trying to blame you for stuff again. That's because it is always your fault. I'm not trying to blame stuff on you. I am blaming stuff on you. It's a whole different thing, Aaron. <laughs> uh, he just reminded Siri to the cucumber. The, look, look, we're going to pretend this cucumber incident never happened. Okay. The cucumber is a lie. <laughs> the cucumber incident never happened. Okay. I don't know what you're chatting right now, but it's clearly bollocks. We're going to need a lot of these. A lot of parts, rather. Then we just need a couple of up thrusters and we're good. Okay, let's just grab all the stuff we need for these thrusters. We're going to be thrusting our way into everything. Um, you can clip it, but I feel like... I feel like it was too long to clip. I think that whole like thing with me pissing myself went on for like five minutes. You can't clip all of it. I've lost welding sound. That's very concerning. Uh, okay, now we can uh, cancel these. We're going to grab one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh, I've got two more here. Seven, eight. Uh, let's just whack that on there and then build what we can. I think we can just get the most of the stuff put on here, the better. Man, I need to make more thruster comps. I I put a thousand on to build. I didn't realize we were going to like eat our way through them all so quickly. You know? Uh, we could download the whole VOD and edit it together. No! No! Don't encourage them. This community, they're, they're not big brain enough to edit something like that. Don't don't give them hope. <laughs> don't, don't give them any form of hope and ideas that they can achieve this goal, Jamison. That is, uh, that is not how this works. Why can't I make these? Wait, hang on. I've got a metric fuck ton of this stuff. Yeah. Why is it not pulling it into here? Oh, I need the, the pulley thing. I need the thing to be able to, like, basically ram it in here, don't I? That's right. Um, so we need assembler, and we're just going to dump all of this stuff here in the assembler. I have not got a lot of iron. This That's not good. Cobalt. Cobalt iron. I have no... I've got all this. I've got loads of cobalt and iron in the assembler. I've not got a lot, but I've got... So oh, I have no cobalt. I need to go get more cobalt. Wow, we're out of cobalt. Okay. I really didn't think I'd run out of cobalt that quickly. That is a problem. That is a problem. We're going to have to um, go drilling again with the other ship. Before we can put this one online. Uh, wait, wait, let me just have a quick look. I just, I've missed something here. What is on the internet forever? On is it on the for internet? <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. It is there, especially if it's all uploaded to YouTube. In fact, no, that episode hasn't been uploaded to YouTube yet. Uh, I did notice you clipped it, Aaron. You clipped the very beginning, but then it ends because it's only thirty seconds long. It could be the Discord highlight. If you, if you can genuinely clip that or like edit it down to a minute, I will have it as my intro video it will be my channel intro video if you can make that into a 60 second vo video <laughs> how does that sound is that is that better is that all right <laughs> amarilla knows how to down download and edit you leave it alone you stop it no you don't do that it is not there for anybody's eyes ever <laughs> 
You, le <laughs> you, you leave it alone. <laughs> I need exotic tech to build this. I think I have some exotic tech left, right? I got some. I have some exotic tech left. Um, I actually kind of want to just like stick one of these in here. Uh, can I like put one of these? I need this towards like the front of the ship, so I can put it like that, right? Grab this and see if I can build this. I'm gonna, just going to cancel these thrusters for the minute. Oh, God. It's so hard to move in this thing. Yeah. Let's go grab the stuff we need. Uh, what do you mean, Bill? Wait, no. Oh, I couldn't. It was full, so I couldn't grab it. I got you. 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 Grab this. Ah. Okay. There we go. We do have everything. So we're going to have to use our... Uh, this vehicle, uh, our hauler ship to just do a little bit of mining really quickly. There we go. And let's go and grab the um, or elite ore detector. Whack that range right up. Uh, broadcast. Uh, and it should show the stuff on HUD regardless. Shut that one up. Shut that one up. Uh, what was that about? Energy? Energy low. Let's grab some energy quickly whilst I look at chat as well. Chat has superpowers. Is that is that to be super annoying? <laughs> How is the inmate? Look, Aaron. Fuck you, Aaron. That is also not part of anything. If the inmate is fine, he's been very, very I I intimate with with the the prison right now okay as they throw stuff off to work well you mustn't need the rest so you mustn't feel bad about that um you can never replace teddy highlight yeah i the, the, no the teddy bear highlight is always there the teddy bear highlight isn't going anywhere you know the highlight's always a highlight it doesn't mean it's always going to be it's not the chat the main the, you know the channel intro it's just a highlight right so i feel like the dodgy cucumber one just needs to be the cucumber one just needs to be the channel video you know uh. <laughs> let's try <laughs> let's just try and do this so it doesn't look weird this time you know we're just, just gonna we're just gonna put it on here so it's a normal color yeah it's just yeah just gonna be a normal color this time there we go nice normal drills at the front of the ship we welcome to the stream it's great to see you how's your day going how are things with you i hope you're doing super awesome how do i have all that stuff to build that thing in my inventory i i don't I don't understand what, how, what, why. You go there. Empty. Oh, yeah. Uh, you'll need a channel video for family friendly days. The, the cucumber is family friendly. There's no, I don't, do I swear in it? No, I didn't swear in it, did I? I didn't swear in the, in the, the cucumber one. And it was, it was somebody eating a cucumber. It was swallowing. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just you're perverted sick minds you violate brains yeah if that makes <laughs> it makes total sense you know you're the ones that are putting the context into that no one else so that's on you chat that that's on you that that's that's not on me you know i'm just i'm just saying God, that's pretty close. That is pretty close. A bit lighter is nice. Really. It was a little bit dark. Um, inmate, intimate, honorable, or honorable. It's just a normal thing for people. Exactly. Tomato, tomato. Potato, potato. You know, it's just, it's all, it's all a matter of perspective, you know? 
Bree Ho just got home from a four-hour trip to the hospital and getting my bl blood work done was fun. Well, welcome back home. I hope it went uh, as smooth as possible. It is family friendly. The only reason it's not family friendly is because you lot are saying it's not family friendly. You know, even Mini confirmed. What do you mean confirmed it? Rills. So we need to engage our thrusters. Unlock our vessel. Check our drills. Drills are operational. Then what I want to do, because we're in space, I'm going to actually link these up to this. I'm going to link them up so we can just funnel the, the ore straight in so we can really, really get mining. Um, uh, no, not that one. It's the, it's the, the small conveyor we need for this, isn't it? Let's grab... Let's just grab these resources. We're going to grab 200 of them. Uh, God, I always forget what I need. 200 of these. Come on, brain. You can do this. You've got this. It's been a long day, but you can do this. Oh, yeah. Numero 6. Uh, yeah, nice. Sexy. Just like that. Gonna put you in there. Put you in there. We're going to squirt you on in there. Just like that. Then we're going to go uh, like that. Try and tuck it ni nice and close so I don't make it like completely grotesque. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh God. Oh, God. Why? That's clearly what I wanted to do. Um, oh, God. It's so far away. It's so far away. Why did I make this so far? Oh, yeah, because it was just a thing for uh, for spaceships to land in. That's why it's so far away. Because I'm not using it for its intended purpose whatsoever. Just like most things in life. You know, why use something for the intended purpose? It's way more interesting to use things for custom purposes, you know? There we go. I feel like we need an uppity pipe. And how is this? This is going to come up like uh, like this with one down here. Uh, like this, like this. Uh, there we go. Like that. Okay, so now what you just got to do is fill all of this in. Where's my head at? My head is in a completely mature, sensible, reasonable space. Oh, like all of you lot whose mind is in the absolute gutter because you're filthy. Yeah. There we go. Boom. So that's all set up. So it's going in there. So all I need to do now is remove a, a small section of this pipe here. Grab this. Put in a... Sort of like that. Damn it. Thought I had everything. I thought I was big brain. Then they should be able to get all the materials we need. Okay, I need to edit that sorter. So if I do K, uh, no, I need a control panel. Oh, where's the there it is. There's the nearest control panel. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, com small conveyor sorter. We're going to do whitelist. We're going to do uh, ore and then brain all. So when we mine, this is going to brain all the ore. We mine from the front of this up through here into this thing here. That thing is then going to brain all through into here. Let's just do a little tour so we can recap ourselves what's going on. Um, that is going to bring the ore uh, in through the wall here into this and fill up these storage containers here with the stuff we mine uh we have our reactor still we know our reactors are doing a uh, a good job here um and we got this is all our ice storage this is for all of our fuel for our ship with all our hydrogen banks and generators in here so this thing should be able to mine 
for for quite a long time. And then in here is our offload port, which is due to connect to the station below us to pump the ore in there. With a huge amount of stability control, batteries, and thrusters, and all sorts in there. So this thing should be a good temporary miner so we can get the resources to then keep building this absolute pink cow print monstrosity that you lot all wanted to be built. So let's go and give this a test run. We really need cobalt. Um, so let's just lock this. We have oxygen. Here it is. A lovely little ship right here. Someone called saying gutter. Yes. And let's welcome to the stream. It's great to have you here. Aaron's getting the blame because you're not here. You weren't here. <laughs> Amarilla is hunting clips. Yeah, that's the current um That's the that's the current uh channel video that we've got. Epic moment. I almost had it, just saying. <laughs> Uh, so we need to find cobalt. So let's have a little, let's have a little fly around some of these asteroids and see if we can find some cobalt. We're going to cruise up to this one now. <coughs> Look at our amazing small grid ship. It's beautiful. We're going to have to reverse the uh, thrust. So we need to counter the thrust. We're going to a reverse burn. This thing is so heavy, man. So heavy. There we go. Okay, so we're looking for cobalt. We've got silver right here. Uh, Chloragulite. It can't all be Chloragulite, right? We've got Platinum. we got Silver. Ooh, we got Dense Iron. Um, I really need the... Uh, where are they? These spotlights here suck. Uh... Intensity right up. No. A little bit better. Not. There's some uh, silver there as well. Some more. Man, that has not got what we need. Let's go and have a look at. Where's the next nearest one that's big? Probably that one there. Let's go and check this one out. We will find what we need. We will find what we need. Uh, yeah, Matt, that was um, that was the the second Rust server I ever played on. That was Alistair's uh, Hatch Rack server. Man, that was so much fun. I love that. It was so so much fun. Just goes bonk, yeah. And I jump out just in time, and then my teammate still blows up. It is absolutely brilliant. How is everyone today? Let's asking. Uh, not too bad, thanks. It's great to be home. I am absolutely cream crackered. It has been a very long day. I'm very, very happy to be at home and relaxing in gaming. We got iron, silicon, iron, platinum. Still not what we want. Uh... Oh, there's a platinum in there. Jeez, there's a lot of platinum in there. Dense iron again? Nope, nothing there. Uh, iron, iron, platinum, silk. No. Nope. Okay, let's go to this one over here. <coughs> See what's on this rock. I think 200... 200 ms is more than enough by the time we by the time we cruise we should then stop in place 
Yeah, I hope you're doing right, Esther. It's been uh, been quite a day for you, hasn't it? It's not been the nicest day for you with uh, what's going on with the car and then uh, then the parking and everything. So I hope you're doing all right. That's doing all right. Still stuck in this project. It would seem the hole gets deeper and deeper the more you try to fix it. You know what? That's what you get for believing in hole cult. You know, believing in holes. That's what you get. Ice? Ice would be handy. We could always take a little bit of ice. Oh, ooh, ice. It is. It's all ice. That's not... Wait, what's that rock? Why is it not showing up in my scanner all this stuff? I literally put a, an amazing scanner on here so it showed me everything. Gold and silver? Man, this asteroid sucks. Let's go to the twisty poop one. The twisty poop asteroid. Why is there no cobalt anywhere? Why can I not find cobalt anywhere in this game? It is so annoying. Yeah, I can imagine there was the shock, but at least uh, it's good that nothing... Uh, Nothing got, uh, nothing got taken, you know. Come on! I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! Turn. 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 Oh my god. This thing is so hard to turn. I need better gyros on this monstrosity. Look how much we overshot it. I was just trying to stop and I just, I couldn't stop it. Shit. So heavy. You drop your lunch on the carpet? Well, that's not good. Yeah, the cobalt is somewhere in here. Where is it? There it is. Iron and cobalt right there. Right, we need to be super careful right now because... No, that's not it. Oh, it's a new custom, uh, custom mineral. Okay, initiating drills. Drills are engaged. Beginning. God, this, I need to be so careful with this. Beginning mining. Bring it left. I'm very cautious. Conscious. There's, there's that like, big sticky out rock up there. Where is it? Oh, this thing is not good for these tight spaces. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We can just swing it left and we do a little bit of strip mining. Uh... That's, I haven't got I haven't got hug commands. Is hug command a required thing? Um, oh yeah, look at all look at it all. Okay, this is good. Yeah, we've got a lot of storage in this thing. We can store so much uh, mine stuff. I Okay, I will need to set up a hug command then. Eesh. Here we go. In for another little bit. I wonder if we can just drop down and just strip mine this stuff like this. Look. Oh, this is this is better. Just strip mine it. Even easier. 
God, I can't wait to get our miner up and running. It'd be so much easier to use than this. Filling up quite quickly. Why are you telling me to crash? Stop telling me to, cr to crash. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to happen. You leave it alone. Yeah, I know. We. I need to put a, uh, I haven't got a stone incinerator. And I don't just want to jettison it, so. And stone is good. Stone has nickel and loads of other stuff that I want in it. So I'm happy with uh, farming stone. Not if I can help it, it won't. I will try everything in my power not to crash in this game. Just because I did it in Rust that one time doesn't mean it happens in every game. You know? It, it may happen at some point, okay? But I'm going to try and make sure it's not now. However, trying to get this thing back to base and land it is also a whole other ball game. Rogue Inventors. Interesting. Keep carving our way through. Filling up nicely. This lag is obnoxious. The lag is what's going to get us killed trying to mine, you know. Anyway, let's have a little look where we're at. Uh, I think we're... Yeah, I think we're full. That's it. We're full. That is a lot of ore. Jeez, that's a lot of ore. This one's for ice. We've completely used up one lot of ice. So we need to get back before we run out of ice. This thing is now half a million kilograms. What an absolute whale. Man, this is so fucking heavy. I know it's space, but there is such inertia is still a problem in space. Oh my god, that takes so long to stop. No. Okay, so I need to change that uh, that schedule ping. Party popper time! Oh shit! Wait a minute. Party popper! Party popper! Okay. Party popper! Redemption from Damster! Ten thousand channel points for an absolute G. Party pop and celebration. I mean, three, two, one. Woo! Hey, it actually came out and landed on me for once. Amazing. <laughs> there we go. Party pop time. <sighs> Nicely done. That's what she said by Aaron, lol. <laughs> I love the smell of party poppers. So good. Mm. Oh my 
god we've used up over we've used up so much ice even funny with lag like singing in the rain <laughs> quote ad it actually came out and landed on me oh for christ's sake <laughs> thanks essa so kind of you who doesn't want to have something like that scarring them for life <laughs> I know this seems stupid, like be really cautious with the speed, but this thing is so heavy. Look, I'm trying to stop it going up. It won't stop going up. It will not stop. The the sheer mass of this. Isn't it like a uh, one of the laws of laws of um laws of physics about mass plus inertia basically means movement. <laughs> I don't know what it is. If it has a lot of mass and it has a lot of inertia, it basically just goes on and on and on and doesn't stop. Like like um, infinitely falling or whatever it is. That's how planets work, isn't it? A lot of mass and a lot of inertia makes them orbit. And they, they're constantly in the state of falling, but they never get sucked in to the, to the thing they're orbiting because of the amount of inertia they have, right? That is a thing, isn't it? I'm not just being smooth brain. That is a genuine thing. It's going to have some physics. <laughs> they might be shit, but it's got some physics. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can dock this up without breaking everything. God lag, please don't clang. Go away. No one likes you. Uh, just need to initiate the docking sequence. That's all we need. Just need to touch tips. Yeah, just need to touch tips a little bit, a little bit back. There it is. Hey, there it is. And then if we look in here, look at this. Ready? So if we get out of this, uh, if we can actually turn thrusters off. If we look in this chest here, this here should... We actually, we got quite a good a good bit then. This is now filling up with all the iron and the cobalt we mined. Uh, I am on... Uh, uh, you're only familiar with the three rules of Clang. None of this physics stuff. Yeah, what are the three rules of Clang? We mine nearly a million cobalt. That will do. That yeah. That, we've just used up. We, n wait. It is. It's still unloading, right? Three. We just mined three quarters of a million iron and cobalt, and it's still going up. And we've got. Wait. We got two hundred thousand in the refinery. Wait. We got two hundred thousand in the refinery, and eight. We have. We yeah. We just farmed a. Uh, a million cobalt that will help us for a while i think we need more we need more of these <coughs> why is this in the cargo container up here wait that shouldn't be able to get up there <coughs> excuse me that shouldn't be able to get in there ingots how is how is this up here that's physically impossible for all to get up here What? Oh, it's because it's connected to the port at the top. So it'll just feed into it. It'll just feed into it when it's ready. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. So let's build some more of these refineries. Um, industrial refineries. The steel plates. We're going to build a few of these. We're going to expand this base. We're going to expand this base. Um, how how are we going to expand this base? Uh, 
go like this? We pop this like this, and then we can do... If we actually got rid of... These. If we get rid of these. We can put these uh, side by side. So these connect up and share all. Right? These will share all like this. There we go. And... Uh, we will grab this conveyor line. So this is where it needed to come out here. And it had a... We're going to get rid of that one. We needed a sorter here. And then this one. Like that. Look at that. Perfect. So let's just hurry up and build all of this stuff really quickly. So we're just going to grab three, uh, 300 of these tubes. 300 of those things. Uh, we're going to grab 300 of these and 300 motors. And we'll see how many of these we can build. Then we'll get to building the refineries. Grab this stuff. We'll tag this stuff. what i need there we, go. there we go now we with this thing built we should then be able to do finish building our miner so this thing here needs to be uh whitelist uh ingots and brain all so that thing is now ready to make ingots we'll cancel that is cancelled so we need to have one two three four of these Just grabbing the rest of the stuff. And this should be the last load. Thank. No. Okay, so we've just quadrupled our output. Quadrupled? Yes, I think we have. No, more than that. We got five of them now. There's even more. So we've got five of these things in here. So now what we need to do is look at the the speed modules. Speed modules are going to allow us to do this a lot quicker. Uh, we need steel plates. Let's take that for my inventory space. Uh, let's just take 50, whatever of these we need. So we've got 50 of these. We're going to get make all of these things here to like sp make, uh, speed up these things. Nice. And the last ones are these. And then boom. That is our production sorted. Like that. We're going to grab another load of these plates just so we're full. And then we're going to start welding this thing up. Don't quite know what's going on with the sound in this game. It's like stopping processing the noise of us doing stuff. It's super weird. One, Clang's our supreme ruler. Two, if he can go bang, pray to Clang. Three, Clang. Two, wait, if he can't go bang, pray harder to Clang. <laughs> That's great. Hours off to get soup. I hope it's nice. Tomato and basil. Absolutely delicious. Very nice. Very, very nice soup. 
I had a bowl of cereal for my dinner because I was way, way too tired to cook. And that sounds really sad, doesn't it? What did you have for dinner? Nice. A fry up, a roast. Did you like have Chinese? Nah, a bowl of Weetabix, mate. We we Weetabix and honey. <laughs> it was well tasty. Okay. It was delicious. Sometimes cereal is just like all you need, you know? It's just the milk is cold, it's refreshing, it's it's filling, it's it's actually it's not unhealthy, but it's not what I consider to be super healthy. Um it's just it just ties you over, you know. There we go. Uh do you ever have grilled cheese sandwiches for tomorrow to soup? I we Grilled cheese is a quite nice. It's it's not something we really Energy Grilled cheese isn't really a UK thing. We have like we do like paninis or like toasted sandwiches and we put like a bit of cheese on the outside, but we don't really do Yeah, grilled cheese is more of an American thing, right? It's not it's not a very British thing. Yeah, like we have cheese toasties, but that's that's for me that's not that's not a, a grilled cheese. A grilled cheese is like, like the bread with the cheese, but it's fried in a pan, right? It's fried in butter or fat or oil or whatever it is. So it then gets nice and crunchy on the outside and it's like melted butter in the middle. And you put cheese on the outside, right? That's a, that, that, that's, that's a traditional grilled cheese in America. Am I right in saying that? It's done in the pan and it's fried with cheese on the outside and on the inside. I'm not sad for me because one, it's unhealthy as shit. And two... I don't like cheese that much. I like cheese, but I don't like it enough to want a grilled cheese sandwich. You know? I I like a little bit of camisola or brie. I don't like at Christmas. Apart from that, I'm not really a cheese lover. I don't mind it, but like it's nice on crackers. Uh, like Esther, she had with like some a nice uh, preserve with it. You know, like a green tomato chutney or something. And like some ham with maybe even like fresh crusty bread. That sort of thing interests me. Yeah, I'm just not a massive cheesy person. I keep my cheesy things to my terrible, terrible jokes that I tell. Yeah, brie and crackers are pretty banging. Not, not gonna lie. They're they're pretty they're pretty tasty. Okay, so this is looking more efficient already. So let's have a look at our refineries here. So they're now sharing the load. The refineries now shown low. They have a nice chunk in each. And down here in this chest, how much do we have still left to be processed? We've still got 349,000 to be processed in there, but that that's pretty good. I feel like I feel like this is a good amount to have. I think our um, our nuclear reactor is definitely going to be working harder. Okay, we've used up 0.1k of it so far. It's like not used anything. Uh, it would be nice to, I mean, I could, I could do these back to back and make this thing just phenomenally efficient. Let, let's keep expanding it, you know, because this is, this is a mining, like building the miner stream because I said we were going to do it. Uh, we are going to finish it. So we need to make a facility good enough to be able to, um, refine all the resources that we might, because as we just saw. My initial ship is good to get get uh, a million of whatever resource that we mine. The new one, I don't think it will be able to store as much as that unless I use some of the level the leveled loot and increase the the, the quality of the the storage containers. You know, because the ones they've got it are only basic and they they really can't hold a lot of stuff. Really can't hold a lot of stuff. And I'm not ignoring you, chat. Got some building to do. Not why have you not had cereal in years, Len? Cereal is like such a base level commodity. I I I genuinely think every single household has cereal in it. Some type. I mean, obviously yours yours doesn't, but every household should have cereal. Like I always have Weedabix, Shreddies. Uh, and muesli or granola 
I always have a nice mix. I, it, it's healthy. It's healthy stuff. I don't get sugar-coated cereal. I don't get cereal with chocolate in it. My cereal is always plain, and it's stuff that's full of fiber, full of vitamins, full of minerals, uh, fruit, or you know, it, it's stuff that's ben stuff that's beneficial for the the body. I don't, I don't get cereal like chocolate in or like loads of, like sugar stuff. Like there's, it defeats the point of having a, a healthy breakfast. So I'm very. I'm very conservative when it comes to my... Uh, conserved. Reserved, sorry. When it comes to my cereal. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just bread that has cheese inside and it's melted. But don't, with a grilled cheese, don't you put cheese... Like, you butter the outside, but then smother the outside in cheese towards the end so you also have cheese on the outside of it? I thought a proper grilled cheese has, like, cheese on the inside and outside. Beshmal... Is that Beshmel sauce inside of melt cheese and ham and then cheese on the outside? Um, chicken and bacon with barbecue sauce. Yeah, ch chicken and bacon with barbecue sauce toasty. Nice. That's really had, but cheddar, cheddar, I got says it's one of the cheeses that is, it stands the test of time, you know? It always stands the test of time. It's a real simple cheese that almost everybody likes. You don't need to mess with it, you know? It, it's, it's perfect the way it is. We're actually going to get rid of that and that one. We can drop that in there. I'm going to need more stuff on the conveyor anyway. I'm going to bend that this way, uh, that way, and that. The modules are going to. Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of that. The conveyor is going to go here. We are, in fact, we're going to have to completely chop this one because it's going to be in the way of the speed module. So this is actually going to have to come out like this. So it's not in the way of the speed modules, right? So one, two, three, four. Problem solved. Then we're going to just bolt on all of our speed modules for this as well. Uh, three, four. One, two, uh, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Cool. That's all the speed modules. Uh, we should have... Ooh, we have not. We need to start bolting some stuff on to be crafted again. Energy low. Give me energy low. Oh, you know why as well? Because I got all this stuff in here. That should finish off these two, right? How? Yeah, cheese and crackers is one of those things that's really nice, you know. It's like it's like it's a big big Christmas thing over here in the UK. Christmas everyone loves to do like big cheese platters and, and things and do like uh, crackers, different cheeses. Grapes, apples, you know, different fruits, figs, dates, and all sorts. And they just go nuts with it. It's crazy. Let's do the cheese buffet. It would be Brie Cheddar, Red Leicester, Greatest Craft and Apple Slice. Hey, look, there we go. It does. It's all, all the same sort of thing. I, I don't like Stilton. I don't I hate Stilton. I, I do love Cambazola. Red Leicester is good. I like um the cheese with like the holes in it. And I can never remember the proper name. Like the Mickey, uh, the um Tom and Jerry sort of uh, style cheese. Can never remember what it's called. It's got a fancy name. Damster hasn't had cereal in over 10 years. Oh, man. You need to get some cereal. You need to get some cereal in your life. That's tragic. Uh, there's really nice, uh, strong, creamy cheddars. And very nice. Somerset Brie is delicious. I I much prefer Somerset Brie uh, to, to French Brie. Somerset Brie is way nicer. Way, way, way nicer. Yeah, I've got to think. I've got to say, Somerset Brie, there's just something about it that, that takes it one step closer, you know, to just tastiness. Uh, let's... Can you have the cheese? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, where are we? Too much sugar fillers that we can... Yeah, they're so, it defeats the point in so many cereals. They're just full of sugar and all sorts of crap. There's no point in eating it if it's full of sugar, you know? Porridge, like like 
golden syrup porridge, that's the only thing I'll eat with added sugar to it. Because it's porridge and the golden syrup is yum and I'll just be putting like honey on it. I'm not a big fan of like golden syrup anyway. I, I prefer like plain porridge with honey on it. Way nicer. But Aramosa cereal rice you have is, uh, is porridge yourself. Uh, let's you have cheese on the outside, not required. You can also bake the sandwich or panini press it. So no butter or oil. That would be a little bit healthier. In fact, that'd be a lot more healthier. There you go. Uh, sm sm I like smoothies. I hate milkshakes. There. But uh, smoothies. Hell yeah. Smoothies are the shit. Uh, you you do eat breakfast usually five to six eggs, some uh, veg coffee. See, breakfast breakfast have to be done right. Now I either have cereal for breakfast. I sometimes, but rarely ever now, actually have toast. But I do love. Uh, you seen some of the ones I've done in chat? Like I I do the fresh uh, the fresh muffins, and I cook sausage, bacon, and egg, and I shovel that in a muffin with a hash brown. Uh, super tasty. Homemade, like, sausage and egg McMuffins. Way nicer than what McDonald's do. Way nicer. It makes theirs look like a bag of crap. It makes theirs taste like a bag of crap. But wait, what, what is, uh... Oh, spore... Spore... Sporsata? That's a cured sausage. And, uh, Essie used to sell three and one kilo things. Jesus. Okay, this should be even better now. Wait, is they? Are they? Oh, they're not connected. Oh, they're not connected. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not connected yet. Uh. Interior plate. Okay, we got this. We're going to take um 300 of this. We're just gonna do this again. We need to get making some more uh, pipes. Like, more bulletproof glass. Displays. Twenty thousand of those, maybe. Mm. Another, maybe another five thousand computers. Another 5,000 of those bits. Maybe another 1,000 of these. Okay, that's better. Now we've got a bit more stuff on, on production. That's going to be uh, much, much more help. Uh, 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 much handier. God, I couldn't words for a minute there. Yeah, it's, like, it's Swiss cheese, but it's got a fancy name, you know? I, I can't remember the exact name of it. Uh, Aaron most doesn't want to cup of tea whilst you're in school. Everyone should have breakfast. It's it's called break fast for a reason. It is important. It kicks your metabolism in. It sets your body up for the day. You know. Let you can't get golden. Syrup. What? Why cut? Surely, just get it from Amazon, man. Just buy golden syrup on Amazon. You can just get it from anywhere. Tiny Essa is a fan of uh, Wieska. Wieska. We, Wieska. I, I want to pronounce like Wieska. Is that correct? If Dan sees breakfast, it's mostly yogurt with some fruit. Hey, that's nice and healthy, man. Strawberry or apple. Very good. Um, you made porridge with milk and the jam. Yeah, I mean, jam is always uh, jam is always something a good go-to. You can add it to porridge. I don't like jam porridge. I never like jam in rice pudding either. I didn't, I didn't like anything. Like rice pudding... I was so vanilla with rice pudding. Rice pudding, for instance, was always just rice pudding for me. I never wanted to, to fuck with it. Rice pudding was, like, perfect the way it was. You know? I'm actually going to grab... Wait. Oh, you can't. Interesting. Here we go. Now we're running. Now they've all got uh, a load of this cobalt in. Oh, yeah. We are chewing through this now. That's a big expansion. Uh, oh, yeah. Look at it go. Bang, bang, bang. Done. Hell, yeah. 
Whoops. So the new refinery is up and running, everybody. What an absolute beast. Ten, ten uh, industrial refineries on the go. Strawberry yogurt. See, I, I love yogurt, but I eat it. It makes me unwell. So I don't eat it because it doesn't like me, you know. But there we go. Um, I mean, here in the UK, we're quite lucky. Like where I am, I'm probably like a half hour drive away from Cheddar. You can go into Cheddar and get freshly made Cheddar, Somerset Brie and everything from down there. And it's cheap as shit as well. Let that is not good enough. You must have more. It's important. You need to eat, man. Make sure you eat your foods. Really important. Eat your tasty treats. I'm going to zap this, actually. And we're going to do... I want to put some more assemblers in. Uh, so I'm just going to increase this by just two blocks this way. Because I kind of have an idea. And I'll put one more here. So we'll do three this way. And then they have matching ports on the top and bottom right like this we can bank them like that we can also drop some uh speed boosts on these as well like that so we go and slap all these things how many of these do we do one two three four six Oh, yeah, we need, to, we need to put this all of them here. Uh, Rieska is... Uh, I, the Polish make real, real good saucies. Amazing saucies. They make some of the tastiest ones I've had. At least with this thing this thing built, we'll be able to uh, get our mining ship together nice and quick. Go away with your low energy. It's not constructive criticism. Samurai's put you know what I really don't like. I I struggle with and I've never liked semolina. Do any of you remember semolina? Semolina is nasty. It's nice if you use it as like a crunchy coating for potatoes, but semolina is fucking disgusting. <laughs> semolina should not exist, you know? Something should be relegated, and semolina is one of them. I don't even semolina is absolutely vile. Um, I don't know. Rice pudding is nice if it's homemade and you know what you're doing. Ambrosia is just... The reason why people like ambrosia is because it's full of shit. It's full of absolutely loads of artificial crap. Sweeteners, colorings, and everything. It is disgusting. I mean, it's not. It's nice. That's why it's nice. It's why Dolmia is nice. It's full of sugar. Gouda, Gouda, and Edam, both nice. Sitting here in cheese country, says Dam. Said, bring over the cheese. Oh, God, fuck's sake. Energy critical. Um, See, the problem is in America. It's nice because you can get everything, but it also sucks because the best things that can't be shifted, you can't get. Well, that sucks. Now, Christmas pudding, shop bought Christmas pudding is minging. I would agree. My parents have been making uh, Christmas pudding. It's a family recipe being passed down for generations. And oh my God, it is amazing. Love my family's Christmas pudding. And it's all about how you steam it, how you cook it. It's all about the preparation and the and the, um, the steaming process. The shop bought ones, you just like put in the microwave or you put in a pan for a bit or, or in the oven clean with tin foil. It's shit. 
proper proper Christmas puddings. You steam for like 20 hours and they go deep black and they're rich. They're bitter. And you have like brandy butter on it, you know? It's amazing. Semolina, you... In the UK, so semolina is basically... Semolina is mixed with stuff and you basically... You make like this sloppy soup, thick soup within and eat it and it's awful. It's very traditional and British and it is disgusting. But you can actually... When you boil potatoes for roasting them, you can roll potatoes in semolina and put it in the oven. And they get a lovely, crispy, crunchy outside to them. That's the only thing it's good for. And Brussels sprouts are amazing. Brussels sprouts with some butter and salt on them. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Delish. Yeah, it, it's not... It's You have it for pudding, but it's basically like a soup. It isn't... It isn't soup, but you have it in a bowl and it's served, you know? What am I missing? What have I not got? Computers. Well, that's not accessible. Here, build computers. What was the other thing I couldn't withdraw? Computers displays. Plays. Oh, it's just computers. And computers is the grind right now. That's fine. Why is everybody saying no to sprouts? Sprouts are amazing. They're delicious. No, you don't add pancetta, cranberries, and parmesan. Sprouts are perfect. It's like it's like when you eat um asparagus. People are like, oh, you get the asparagus. You you wrap it in parma ham and you put some garlic with it and some salt pepper. Yes, no, you leave it alone. You just boil it, a pinch of salt, and a knob of butter. You let the butter melt, you eat it. Same as sprouts. You don't mess with it. It's too good. Don't fuck with the sprouts. Yeah, we boil asparagus. You put, fill up a pan with water, make it boil, you drop it in it, you count to 60, and you pull it out and you serve it. It's absolutely perfect. It doesn't need anything else done to it. Literally nothing else needed. It's just the flavor. It's, it's like Brussels sprouts. As soon as you start putting other stuff with it, it lo you lose its flavor. All you can taste is like the other stuff. You can't actually appreciate the vegetable for the vegetable it is because you've destroyed the taste with everything else you throw in there. I'm very, I'm very picky with veg. Like some veg absolutely need other things with it. Sprouts, man. Sprouts and asparagus. Just leave the, leave them alone. Leave them alone. They did nothing to hurt you. All oh, you horrible people saying, eh, yuck. That means more for me to eat. You ungrateful heathen. Heathens! Why can't I... Why can't I put this here? Oh, cause, is that because I got light? Uh, no, you don't need asparagus and knob lord. You're a knob. Shut up, Aaron. Uh, or I argue that a salad with sprouts is a delicious recipe that you still get full it. Nah, I, I literally, I eat sprouts just as they are. I, I will not taint my sprout with anything else. Sprouts just, like, even when we have, when I eat, I eat them quite a lot. I really enjoy sprouts. I will put them on the side of my plate away from all the other foods just with some butter and, um... Uh, butter and salt on. I won't even put gravy on them. They're just, I just want them as they are. My sprouts will be untouched. My sprouts will remain untouched. Oh, God, why can't I withdraw the fucking computers? Are they in here? Where are they? Where are my computers at? Oh, they're going to be in there, aren't they? Oh, there they are. Get these built. Get 
this is uh, oh my god cancel all of these grab this grab this Go over here grab this oh there's displays in there as well wait production let's just get the displays on the go There we are. Okay, the display's now out. Now these things will be done, right? Okay, these things are now done. So what we're going to do with these is... Uh, I need to find a control panel. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I do. Let's just find one of these. Go to production. Uh, the ba industrial assembler is going to be non-share. Then these ones here are going to uh, accept... Uh, sharesies. Then they should all start filling up with resources. So if we now go to this uh, production and we type in... Wait, I'm doing the wrong thing. F. The assemblers. Okay, nice. So we go to uh, inventories. The assemblers. Now if we go down here... All our assemblers should be pulling in the resources we need to then be spam creating everything. So we are literally, we are creating so much stuff right now. And I realized I've made a massive mistake right here. Uh, this was actually meant to come like this. Going into this. Now, in here, we have a look like the steel plates. Look how fast we're making stuff here. This is great. It's just pulling everything out. Uh, so mine will... So will mine untouched and left... Other, <laughs> just literally untouched. Never is to be given any form of love or recognition. You harsh, harsh person, you. How dare you not show love to the sprout. The sprout ever do to you. Right, let's grab uh, three more... Of these. We need steel plate, don't we? Yeah, so we're just going to grab uh, three three steel plates. We're going to slap uh, just a, a few extra speed modules on the top here. Three. We're going to grab bank, the stuff we need. And then these things will be... The, the top three will be working at maximum capacity. The bottom one's uh, a little bit less. But there we go. So this thing is now operating nicely. Take some of these, and then we're just going to build up the base here, like we did the other side. Oh, no. Lag. Right. You. You can do it. There we are. And then this side. I got a question. I got a question for you, you sprout haters. Why don't you like sprouts? Were you, were you forced to eat them when you were young? Did you have a, a bad experience with them? What, what is it you don't like about sprouts? Because most people don't like them because they were like forced to eat them as kids, or they ate them at school when they're like completely overcooked and they're mushy and they're flavorless. Like you haven't, you haven't like picked them yourself and off the um off the stem and then like prepare them yourself and cook them in a, in a way where they actually really taste good you were forced they stink they don't they this they don't taste the same as they smell like many like like cheese cheese stinks but cheese doesn't taste a lot of cheeses don't taste like they smell they don't like the taste fair enough they are they are i suppose for a lot of people they do, people do find them quite bitter um which I have heard a lot. God, this annoys me so much. Let me place it there. God damn it. Hell yeah. This. Man, this base is ugly ass. But it's our ugly half base, you know? So at least we're producing things at a much faster rate now. I can't stand it. But I wish it did stack stuff like this. That'd be so much better.
It's very satisfying to do. I do enjoy doing this. It's great. Look at that. Beautiful. 20, 60,000, 950. Uh, you hate... You hate... See, I don't like stinky cheese either. I like smooth, uh, like easy going cheese. It's like Stilton makes me really unwell. Stinky Bishop, the smelliest cheese I've eaten is Stinky Bishop. It smells incredibly strong, but it's a really smooth, creamy taste. But the smell makes me want to vomit. <laughs> but I only really ever eat cheese at Christmas, you know? If it was pink, it wouldn't be ugly. I'm not making this bit of the base pink. The ship is pink. The ship has to stand out from the rest of the base, you know? But this is just a, a space industrial powerhouse, and it works brilliantly. I do feel like the output of our... I feel like our reactor isn't going to be putting out the right output. I'll just use this. Oh, it's putting out like. Oh, it does. It peaks and then just dies. Like you can put out. It's putting out five. It's maximum is 15. But it like goes. Oh, it's okay, actually. It's got four weeks of charge in it. It's working okay. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that reactor is coping dealing with all of this. Okay, let's continue with this thing then. So we need to do uh, all at different stages, aren't they? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're actually going to, because we're creating so many resources, we're going to shove this in here and make another huge amount. Yes, yeah, so all of the assemblers are sharing the workload, which is amazing. We're probably going to need more iron next. So we're going to have to go get some iron. Definitely going to have to go get more iron. You said you withdrew everything I needed. You lied to me. It literally said it withdrew all components, right? It is... You lied to me. You didn't withdraw the components. I tagged all eight of these. Maybe I missed one. Maybe maybe I'm just an idiot. So, uh, a good southern fried chicken wrap with spring onions and cheese. Yeah, but you're talking about like bitch basic grated cheese just lobbing it in there, right? That's not going to be like a fancy kind of cheese, is it? That's just going to be like bog standard cheddar. Is it? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's just going to be pretty bog standard cheddar sort of thing. Oh, we. Oh, surely we can build one of these. Yeah, I know, I'm not saying grated cheese isn't convenient or anything. I'm just saying when you have when you have wraps and stuff like that, it's just normally bog standard grated cheddar, right? That that's what I'm saying. It's like we don't. We don't put, like, fancy cheese shit on things like that. Oh, yeah, because I put the exotic tech in here. Cheddar and mozzarella. Yeah, that yeah, that, that's about right. That sounds about right. We'll leave these things on here, by the way. This little this little thing here, because it can be quite convenient in a bit. But what we should be able to do is, I want to put like a really fat one of these containers up here. I don't know how much storage it can hold, but I'm pretty sure it holds a lot compared to the standard ones. All right, this holds 1.2 million liters. How much was that to build? Oh, it shows me here. Where is it? 11. We can build two more of these. OK. 
Okay, let's just slap another one down. I don't want to do too many because this thing will not move. Well, it will, but it won't stop, rather, I should say. Why did you not? Why can't you draw the construction cons? Are you not making them yet? Oh, okay. look how fast this is chewing through this stuff. Not making it though. Who assembles three? We need, we need silica. We need nickel. Yeah, we need to go on another mining mission in, in uh, a hot minute. Why can't you? Man, so weird. Really, really buggy. Okay, so this is looking good. So all we need now is the downward thrusters. This thing is just a floating mass of thrusters. That's all this thing is. It's just a floating mass of thrusters with two big drills. <laughs> it's so horrendous. It's absolutely disgusting and I wouldn't have it any other way. So we just need to do some some vertical boys like this. Oh god, steel plate. Of course I need steel plate. Yeah, it does. It, it's here to be... This is a practical, not a, a an aesthetic ship, you know? This is a practical and aesthetically pleasing ship. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. I'm really happy with this. This thing is incredible for, for purpose. It is super, super handy. It can hold a huge amount of resources, a huge amount of ice. It's maneuverable-ish. It is on the Earth line, not so much up here. Anesthet <laughs> Anesthetical? No! Aesthetical. Aesthetically pleasing. You know? And we are short on construction comps and thruster comps. Damn it. I should have built more thrusters. Why are you not withdrawing? I don't understand why it's not. I really don't know why it's not withdrawing. Look, look how many of these I have. I have literal thousands of these. And it's saying it can't withdraw them. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. Like, aspects of this game are just entirely broken. Platinum gold cobalt. Lots of platinum, lots of gold, no cobalt, and no iron. So we need cobalt and iron in order to finish this thing. Can I not just like maybe break a couple of the thrusters? So I can finish off those ones. Let's do that. I'm just going to pop off two of these. So I can finish these. Then we can start using this miner. We can start using this now. Oh, I've got these ones not finished either. Shit. I think we've I think we got enough of this thing to start being used. It's the sorter. No, because the sorter brings everything in here. This thing has everything in it. All the components go in here. The source is working fine. It should be. Or did I not program it? Whitelist components. Brain all. No, the source is working fine. I don't need this to go backwards. I'm withdrawing it from the cargo container. It's in here. Look. The components are in this. And it wouldn't let me withdraw them. It was dumb. It's just the game being broken. This setup is is perfect. The 
game has just been just really stupid. Yeah, it's just just buggy old space engineers. Um, do you think this thing's up for mining? Oh no, it's got no. We need the gyros. I mustn't forget the gyros. Holy shit, that would have been bad. Steel plate. Um. I'm gonna drop a gyro here, and I'm gonna go one, one, two, three, four. Probably will need all four of these. Gyros. Power up these gyros. That might be enough, but we can. Wow, this is really picky where you can put these things. That sucks. Also, I realize this isn't going to work where we put the offloader because that offloader there is not going to be able to hit this thing here because this is huge. So I need to, when I built this, I need to put the offloader underneath so it can just offload straight away onto there. So I'm going to have to like put a tube from this just dropping down or something. Just a temporary thing. Because this one up here won't. Um... In fact, if there's no gravity, I can just rotate it upside down. And just connect it, right? That's going to hurt my brain. Connector. Um, conveyor system. Yeah, I, I could, but it's going to hurt my brain. All my all my controls will become back to front. And Why, Jeebus Christ? What's happening? What is up? My old work opened a piece. Of... Oh, very nice. Pizza by the meter. What the shit? That sounds pretty crazy. I like that. Okay, here we go. That'll work. Why? I've. L oh, I guess I haven't taken this one off. It should all be connected. Why? Oh, because there's no power. That'll work. It's it's awful. It looks disgusting, but it'll it'll work for what we need it for for the minute. Um There you go. It's all pink. I'm hoping these two gyros are enough. They should be. I'm going to put another two down here just in case. When this thing is full, it's going to be heavy as... Just heavy as shit. And I need to be able to maneuver it so it doesn't hit the base and explode, you know? I want to try and do this without blowing everything up. So we're going to power this thing up. Um, so we're going to turn the nuclear reactor on. The battery's on. Um, select all the thrusters. Save this. Grab the thrusters. Put that in block one. Thrusters are currently engaged. There they are. The thrusters are engaged. Probably end up putting like another one of these here. That looked kind of cool. I like that. Let's get a steel plate. Let's just put uh, the base of a thruster there so we know to build it. Nice. 
Oh, I got a funky. This is a chunky boy. This is a chunky boy. You can put a connector at the bottom of your base connector so you can have them both dock at the same time. Oh, like one under here? Oh, that's kind of a good idea. So keep the connector up here and have it so it can it can stick up. Yeah? Man, that's nice. I like that. Um Wiltshake and waffle counter. Still uh does not look very gimmicky and cheap. I wonder how much uh, a meter is in inches. 40 inches. That's nuts. Um. Uh. No, not cargo. Just a just a standard, just a connector. I need. Um. Yeah, like that. What? Really? this is good so what we need to do on this one here as well is we need to go here and look at the connector we're going to get the connector and do um the top um top offload then in here we're going to look at the connector we're going to put the connector into number five and we're going to do switch lock Boom. this thing is good this thing is ready to start mining we have a couple of active down thrusters we have plenty of forward thrusters. We have a lot of back, re like reverse thrusters. We have a good amount of up thrusters. We have a handful of thrusters pushing left and right. So this thing should be controlled. We got batteries in here. We got gyros in here. We have the drills mounted. We have the cabin. We got a beacon. I think this thing is ready for a maiden flight in a minute. What we are going to do is free it from the base. It is now free. And we're just going to see if we can dock this thing up really quickly before anything. It weighs so much. Oh, it is so heavy. Whoa, sweet Jesus. Woo. I think we're a bit. Uh, I think we need to just reduce these down to, say, 50. Ready? Reduce these down to 50%. That's a bit better. What the? That's better. Okay, let's just see if we can dock this thing. So we're going to create a docking bay down here for it so let's sort the docking bay out really quickly like this oh yeah and then we need to Changed these blocks as well, didn't we? This. Oh god, this color's gonna bloody haunt me, man. It's gonna absolutely fucking haunt me. Uh, I I hate doing this stuff upside down. There we go. Um. Here with a little slopey boy in here. 
And then just before you all get carried away thinking it's going to be this horrible color. No. Just staying this color. <laughs> okay. Just going to get the resources for this. You're right. You are. Yeah, you're right. There is no up and down. You're right. <laughs> We're in space. There is no up or down. Uh, people, uh, 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 dinner place like 40. That is a massive pizza. It's to help the, uh, the, Mer the American customers. Yeah. Okay. Let's have a little look here. Too sensitive, man. I can't control this. I need to just get rid of some of the gyros. Up, steady. There it is, and then proximity lock. Hey, look at that! Now we've got our uh, our big hauler and our mining vessel all lined up. That's great. That looks fantastic. Good shout, Let. You love that serious I look well confetti on my head. Thank you. I'm gonna take it off soon because it's itching my face. <laughs> Right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to have a um, a really quick bathroom break once I've just recharged everything and then sat inside my cryopod. You were thinking, what if you group three gyros and put them on the hot bar for on and off? And when it's empty... Yeah, that's a good shout, actually. I might... um, Yeah, I might do that. I might just have three. Get rid of four and, and do three and do that. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm going for a quick bathroom break. I'm absolutely bursting. It's not good to sit down for too long. Make sure you get up, stretch your legs, give your back a stretch, grab a drink, grab a snack, LSU the snack, in which case just go and get a drink. Enjoy the music, and I will be our bees.
Hello. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you've managed to get a drink, get a snack, stretch your legs. Uh, that's put some eye drops in as well. My eyes are so dry because of work lately. My eyes are like so, so dry because of work. So I've just put some eye drops in. My God. So much better. What's been going on? What's happening away? Oh, what is all of this? Dams does not sat down since the, oh God, since the beginning of the stream. Doing housework? Almost done painting the threshold downstairs. Led likes painting. Going with hot pink color or something else. The smell of paint is nice. No, it's not. The smell of paint is fucking horrible, man. <laughs> I would paint my house, but it's rented. Uh, so I don't want to spend money on it. <laughs> is coming over Saturday to help you with it. At least just, uh, the sanding part of it needs to be done before Essen gets there. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Anyway, boop. back to the game. Ryan Raspy. What's he got? The new barbecue. So you have a barbecue when you're here. Oh, nice. I really quickly did that thing that, uh, was it Let's? Was it you suggested about the, the gyros? Um. We've got gyro. Gyro one, two, and three. Um. Gyro. Heavy. Gyro. Light. If we go here and go. Gyro when light. Gyro when heavy. So if we turn off heavy gyro, if we unlock and go down. Okay, so now on this, if we go gyro light and put the power up to a hundred. And gyro heavy. Put it. 50 for the minute. Okay. Wow, this is one gyro on max power. That's insane. Okay, hang <laughs> on. Um, gyro light needs to get... That's better. You found another mini golf place next to the hotel. Glow in the dark? That sounds dope as hell. What were we having to mine, everybody? I've forgotten. Was it? It was cobalt, wasn't it? Where did we go for cobalt again? It was down here, wasn't it? It was one of these. This one. I think this was the cobalt one, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we're trying out the new miner. We need to get the resources so we can basically finish building it. They're leaving us behind with all the gold activities. All the gold activities, eh? <laughs> I want gold. <laughs> yeah, let go buy book a hotel. And you, Aaron. <laughs> it's there in waiting. Is it this one? I really should have uh, put a a signal down on the right on the one which had it. I'm sure, I th I'm sure it was this one. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Oh, we are, we're maxing out our power supply. Look. We are absolutely maxing out our power supply on this thing. That is not good. Uh, 
So Let, when are you booking us all the tickets to come to America? Let's paying everybody. You heard it here first. I might have forgotten to put lights on this thing. Yeah, th this is it, isn't it? This here, right? No explosions, please. Please, no explodey. No explodey. No explodey. Okay, we're good. Right. Before anything happens... Is this it? It was. Okay. So we're going to go this. We're going to go GPS. We're going to do from current position. And this is... Uh, what is this? This uh, this is Cobalt. What, what else is here? Cobalt and Iron. We need cobalt, we need iron, then we need to get silicon. So, activating mining. Miners. Here we go. Let's get mining. Let's see, there's silicon here as well. Go backwards. Whoa, this does not like to go that way. Where's the back end? Oh, that is quite close. And trying to fly a ship that isn't complete is difficult. Its thrusters are not up for the task. Speaking of, when we're doing it again, uh, I'm incorporating it into our 200 follower celebration stream. So soon. Do not like flying this in this space without everything finished. We also need to. We'll get some of the silicon whilst we because we did need the silicon. Uh, we're quite far off the ground still. All right. Go to the we good to the left hand side. Forward we go again. Yeah, taking nice big chunks out of this. I wonder if we're mining wide enough to be able to get this through. I think we're just too wide. If we had the drills a little bit wider, I think we'd actually be able to mine our own footprint. I think we would. We're almost able to mine our own footprint. That's quite impressive. It's only 900 dots. You say that like it's not a lot. Uh, 
Twitch guys, just a, it's a time, it's a chance to meet potentially some famous streamers, look at esports, but more importantly, just to meet up with um, friends from around the world who are also streamers and just you know, network with people. That, that's why it's a really good event, you know. It's just it's an opportunity to do something once a year that you might otherwise never get a chance to do. That's uh, kind of the main the main uh, the main point of it, I guess. Other way, this way. Let's go grab some silicon. The silicon is just there. Should be clear of this. We'll be able to angle down. Man, this thing is going to be so hard to dock. Well, the means, it wouldn't be the thousand pounds just for the meetup. The thousand pounds would be to travel. You would spend like two weeks over in America, if you know what I mean. You would spend two weeks over there, and then you would just go to TwitchCon as part of that. You you would you would never just want to spend that to go to a two day event. It would be to spend like a few weeks away, you know. Otherwise, it would be completely pointless. You'd be insane to spend that much just to go to TwitchCon. Um, 30 years in your place to Amsterdam. Nice. Yeah, re 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 meeting everyone is the main reason why people like to do stuff. You know, it's it's the networking opportunity, which is why people really like it. Again, it's like you know, why do why do why do some people go to watch football games? Why do people go to watch the rugby? Why do some people um people spend a lot of money going to do like stuff? You know, and I suppose TwitchCon is just one of those things. It's just an opportunity for. People to get together and have a really fun time. Meet up, spend time together. You know, you may never meet some of the people you stream with. So TwitchCon is like a, a perfect opportunity to go out of your way to actually kind of meet them and do something new, you know? Yeah, a concert. Yeah, exactly. Right, raving, clubbing, it's all the all the same similar principle. Social interaction, I guess. I mean, if you're from a different country, that's not bad, unless you make that much flexible income from Twitch, which some do. Yeah, that is very true. This thing is like ten times heavier than what my other ship. Oh, it's a million. It's twice the weight of my other ship right now, filling this thing up with ore. It is so, so heavy. It is almost impossible to control it right now. This is an absolute behemoth. Let's see if we can shave some of this stuff. I'm aware there's that sharp bit of rock right underneath the thruster there. Just gonna start backing out. What else did we need? We needed cobalt, we needed iron, we needed silicon. Was there something else we needed? What was the other resource we needed? Help me remember, people. I can't remember. What do we need? Oh, this does not... Look at it. It's not stopping. It's just... It does not stop. Holy fuck. How are we going to land this thing, man? There's no way. There's no way we're going to be able to dock this thing up. Not with the lack of thrusters that we've got. Okay, let's see how long it takes to stop. Let's just get it up to... Let's get it up to, like... 50 ms and just wait and just leave it and see what it does. I don't need the gyros. I've got. I've actually. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, it's not too bad actually. So let's get to 50 ms and then just stop and see what happens. Yeah, look, we're maxing out our power output. 
We, we need uh we need another nuclear reactor in this thing. Okay, it's nearly at 50. Let's see how long it takes to stop with uh 1.2 million kilos. There we go, we're off. This is just the reverse thrusters. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> man, it's just, it just it doesn't stop. Oh man, it's cuz it has got a lot of stuff missing. It has got a lot of thrusters still missing. This is going to be absolutely impossible to stop. I mean, if you look at flying out to Japan, it's like two and a half, three grand. You need like you need like 10 grand to spend a couple of weeks there to have a truly good holiday. It's insane. L ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a bit of a long flight back, by the way. Because I can't, I can't get my speed up to like five, like five hundred ms. Because we will never ever be able to stop. I need to take this slow, otherwise we will explode and destroy our ships, our base, and everything. No, we're not going to blow up. You're not going to clip it. I've got this. I've got this, and I will do this. Uh, the problem is, I'm maxing out my energy. I'm maxing out my energy consumption, so... Something's going to explode. I better just check that quickly. Wait, what happens if you do max out your energy? Does it damage stuff? What happens? Does it go boom? I don't actually know what happens if you... If you max out your energy for too long with the stress and strain it puts on your ship. Why would it be worth to spend it on TwitchCon to people who won't remember your name? Because... You're going out to meet with, like, like all the people here. Like, I'm going to meet up with, uh, I'm meeting up with Essa. I'm meeting up with Damster. Might meet up with a few other people. You know, we're, we we're going to remember each other for a long time because we're always, like, doing this sort of thing. So it's absolutely worth it because I wouldn't be able to meet Damster otherwise, really, unless he kind of, I suppose, came to the UK or something like that. And it's not, it's not always for just like somebody remembering or not remembering you. It's also the experience. You go to make memories, enjoy the experience. To go to a new part of the world, to, to have fun, to see the sights, to, to absorb the, the history and to um, get some pictures. You know, just make, make the memories, have a good time. It doesn't matter if people don't remember you. It's what you remember is the important thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't have to spend that much money to go and meet um, anyone even from the EU. Going to EU, I can do that for like a hundred quid. But I couldn't get to America for a hundred quid, you know? And I would love to go to America to have a holiday and to meet friends and people over there. And if that costs like, you know, a thousand pounds, it costs a thousand pounds. It's just, it's what you're willing to pay to go and have a nice time. Clash, how are you doing, my friend? How's your day going? How are things with you? What have you been up to? Yeah, if you live close to the same country, yeah, it's not going to cost much at all. But I would genuinely, I would happily spend, if I save up the money, if I save that one, two, three grand, I would spend that money to go and meet up with some people that I really enjoy online time with and I wanted to take it that step further to meet them in real life, to put like more physical, physical presence to a name and to an experience. Like, everything in life is, is worth whatever you're willing to pay for it at the end of the day. Somebody might not want to spend, say, a tenner on something. Someone might want to spend a grand on something. It's all just, uh, it's all just a matter of perspective. Angel Ma uh, Manic, welcome to the stream. It's great to see you here as well. How's your day going? How are things with you? What are you up to? We have two angels. Uh, also, TwitchCon has its own comic areas events. Oh, well, yeah, there's loads of stuff to it. It's great. Um, welcome to the stream, uh, Angel and Clash. 
We're taking it very slow and steady. I am flying an absolute whale, which is incomplete. Running at half the thrusters. Maxing out its energy capacity with huge fucking storage systems in it. So we are taking it real nice and steady because we will, we will run out of control. So just to put things in perspective, if we look at the cargo containers, we have all of these small cargo containers as well as elite cargo containers. If we look at our inventory, the normal cargo containers hold 156,000 units each. And they're holding half a million ore in each of them. We have two elite cargo containers each holding no sorry one elite two elites one holding 1.2 million units of ore and the other holding almost 1 million units of ore so these things is almost fully laden it weighs a a whopping 1.2 million kilos right now and with the inertia what's moving it doesn't stop i cannot stop it when it's moving it it just takes however long it takes to stop it is awful <laughs> it needs more thrust <laughs> um you find me sneaking in a little stream early actually just chilling for the rest of the evening awesome stuff what have you been up to today then that you're kind of kicking back and chilling now uh angel's working what do you do for uh, a job angel do tell no, this isn't the ship you've heard about. We, I can show you the ship that you've heard about. It's currently docked up. This is this is the oh, this is the pink cow print ship, but it's not the main ship. This is the mining vessel, and we have the other one, which is the uh, the the hauler, the transport vessel. He is going to crash and blow up. So grab pot. No, I'm not going. Oh my god! Please stop! Please stop! Please stop! Why does it take so long? to stop going 20 meters per second. For the love of God, stop. God, this is so painful. We're so close to base, but I'm terrified. This thing is just awful. Well, you can spin it around. You just... My, I actually, my forward thrust is, I have more reverse thrust than forward thrust. I, <laughs> I have six reverse and four forwards at the minute so that theory however brilliant it is it does not work in this situation <laughs> scenario <laughs> um aside from work not much honestly uh what you your crime analyst damn that's cool how long have you been doing that for do you enjoy it okay we need to bring this thing around Stop, 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 stop. For God's sake, stop. About five years. Awesome stuff. Very nice. Good uh, good uh, start to a career length at the minute. Keep it going. That's amazing. Love it. So what, uh, what sort of things do you have to get up to then? Can you like uh, give us like uh, a brief rundown or something? I'm genuinely fascinated to know. To learn and know. Everybody, look, we made it to the dock. We made it to the dock and we didn't blow up yet. We haven't docked yet. Sorry to disappoint you popcorn goers. There we go. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Just need to touch the tip. Touch it and engage. I, I engage. Engage. It engage. What's broken? Why would it not engage? Oh, you son of a. I touched it. I barely touched it and it broke. Well, the actual shit. I barely touched it and it broke. Oh, God. I barely touched it, man. 
Engage. So that should be sucking all the stuff we need into this here. Here it goes. And everything's been pulled out and it's going into our refineries. Ladies and gentlemen, he's done it. We have docked up and we are draining the contents of our mining ship. Hell yeah. I haven't crashed yet. I know. Touch wood. We're doing all right. <laughs> and any of you that have joined the stream, I'll give you a quick whip round of our space base. So this is the mining vessel that we're still making. It needs a lot more thrusters, clearly, but the, the capacity in it is outrageous. This is the this is the cargo ship. It's awesome. Aaron, are you going to pop out? Thank you for the stream. I uh, hope everyone has a great night uh, or day. Thank you very much for being here, Aaron. It was fantastic to see you. As always, have a really good day. Take care. This is the uh, this is the the big one. This is the transport vessel that I made. It's hydrogen powered, so it's a lot more uh, got a lot more oomph to it. It's got a lot of uh, up, down, left, right uh, rotational thrusters, the whole lot. It has a top port connector, so this basically loads ice into it back on Earth for fuel. This one unloads the ores from it. And this one allows small um, mining drones to dock up to it and to unload their ores. We have our flight seat in here. Very nicely lit, but we can see where we're going. In the top section here, we have got uh, our nuclear reactors here. We have all of this, which stores the ore uh, or whatever we're, we're um, transporting. These ones here are all filled with ice and wow so we've already used one and a half units of ice powering this thing just to fly up here and to do a little bit of mining as well then the bottom section down here this one is our control room so it gets so heavy this thing is such a beast we have all of these tier two gyros and all of these tier one gyros just to control it and this here is the undocking part we've got batteries and everything and everything is hooked up uh, through the hydrogen system see so all of this there's hydrogen lines running in the walls linking up all of the thrusters front and back with all of this um hydrogen production in here and behind there there's two large hydrogen tanks storing all the fuel that we need for flight and the whole thing is completely airtight so if i shut these doors you will see if we just give it a couple of seconds and open it the air rushing out is 100% airtight. See the vents? Pumping the air. One, three, done. Completely uh, breathable air. Let down the mask. There we go. A completely airtight, breathable environmental ship. So it's pretty good. And I'm, I maybe we'll make a miner the same. We might expand this and make it so this produces oxygen. But at the minute, I just kind of want to get the um, the thrusters built. And um, being our our uh, our mining uh, this our mining base in space, we have ten uh, industrial refiners, and then we have a big bank of assemblers, all with speed boosters, all linked up so it auto smelts and uh, uh, auto uh, creates everything. This is completely full. Excuse me. I need to... I need to make more storage. Have we got 11 exotic tech? I don't think I have. I really don't think I have. I would love to put one of these here. <gasps> I have the exact amount we need. Uh, let's... Let's put this here. Grab this. Grab this. This thing here holds 1.25 million. Oh, shit. It's taking everything out of there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, oh, I can't do that. Ooh, that was almost a huge mistake. I didn't realize I've joined it up and it's pulling resources out from this. Uh, it doesn't matter for the minute. It, it, everything will go out of it anyway. It's just going to stack some of these resources. Um... What does it look like? 
Why does it look like it could be a decent ship to ram things? Well, with the waste of it, it could. And it would probably obliterate anything it hits. Think of crime analyst as civil civilian detective. You try to find bad guys that don't want to be found. Find their hiding place or try to identify their identity with information given. We don't just uh, go to arrest them. That's the job of the deputies. That's awesome. That's fucking great. I love that. And you sometimes go to court just to uh, testify on how you find them. Like CSI. Uh, Essa, uh, you didn't see the interesting attachments last time. No, we're not discussing the attachment we had on the ship. Leave that alone. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> Let you psychopath. If that doesn't surprise me, that's what you wanted to see. Behave. I just realized before I, it was too late. So we've got iron and cobalt. We need nickel. We need nickel, gold, and platinum. But we can't do it until the ship's unloaded. So we need nickel, gold, and platinum. We've got platinum here, but I don't want to chew away at this asteroid. We've got silver. I know we've got we've got uranium in this thing. Let's have a little fly around it. Let's have a little fly around and see if we, what other ones we can find. Those of you... This thing is filled with uranium. There's so much. Oh, look. This is just a massive uranium asteroid. There's so much in it. It's ridiculous. So I've got infinite uranium, pretty much. Iron and, oh my god, we had iron and cobalt here the whole time. Oh well. Even more uranium. I'm sure this had platinum in it as well. I'm sure there was platinum on this thing. Maybe it was just this one we were on. Okay, it was just silver. Okay, so we need to go and find these other resources. Yeah, this is just a ma massive platinum roid. So we need to wait until this thing's empty. So we need to grab that. That one. That one. Three. Four. Five. Other ones aren't complete. We need to re -put, We need to put, put some more um, stability thrusters on it as well because it's it's just not good enough yet. That took out nothing that we need. So we're just waiting on the thruster components, basically. Just the thruster components. That sucks. And that's what we need all the fancy ore for. So we're basically, once this is empty, we're going to have to go get the more, more of the fancy ore. Man, this is completely full. This is not okay. Uh, damn it. How much is the... Yeah, we're going to have to build some big ass storage as well. slap some big storage containers down here. What is what is this? What is this? What is this? Why is there no sound? Oh, it's muted. It was a hundred percent. Why does this always happen when I'm playing games? No, it was absolutely Astrid here. It was a hundred percent Astrid here. I don't. <laughs> it didn't look sus at all. I don't know what you're talking about. What's wrong with this? I don't know what's wrong with that. <laughs> look fine to me. <laughs>
can't withdraw interior plate. Bruh, I have... of these got in each oh like four million oh that's good that's real good okay so we're going to i like 20 of this and i think we're just gonna hook this one up as well Pretty, but it'll work. Uh, so we need, let's say, two under the that. These things just start filling up as well. There it goes. Now we're filling up with the excess. Then we got a massive amount of extra storage here. All of our mind shit. I'm actually going to go to this, type in ice. Uh, just the current ship oh look at all this ice we've got here as well building up nice loads of ice building up uh, why is the where is it this I'm gonna refill our oxygen bottles and refill our hydrogen bottle as well Rah. Weirdos. Uh, let, let's have a little look inside this. Um, hide empty. Shit. Okay, the ship's empty, so we're ready for the next mining mission. So we need to go get um, a lot. We need... We've got iron, but we've got a shitload of iron, a shitload of cobalt. We need gold and platinum. Now, I haven't found gold or platinum yet. You know what we do? Really, we need uh, an... Why haven't I put an ore scanner on this thing? Oh, God, it wasn't even in this one. Wait, it's down... This one. Can I... Can you not? There we go. There we go. Take that. Blech. Oh god, please stop game. Can't move. I'm gonna take these. Nice. Oh god, it's so awkward to get around in space in this ship. It's designed for Earth like to move around. It's not good up here. Um so how much do I have? I got twenty-eight. Um or Fuck, I need 40. I haven't got any... I haven't got enough exotic tech. I don't think there's anything else that... What has... 40. I don't think I've got anything here that is consuming exotic tech. We also need another reactor on this thing because one is not enough. Let's slap it here. Let's put it there. Surely I have everything I need for this. Oh 
have I not got those? Oh, man. Oh, I can make these, though. I can make them. I can make them. I can make them. Put that in there. Uh, uh. Okay, we'll quickly make the other reactor for our ship. I've got shitloads of gravel. And shitloads of silver. Oh, it's because it's... Oh, shit, they're full. Because they're completely full. I need to... Wait, the ingots should be getting stored in here. Oh, man, it's because it's full of ore. Oh, that's dumb. Wait. Empty everything out for the minute. Uh, hang on. Uh, why can't I turn it off? Can I not turn this off? It stops working. I can't turn it off. Oh, that's problematic. Um, okay, let's do... I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to... Uh, okay, okay. I, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Damster's off the bed. Have a good night. Thank you so much for being in the stream, Damster. It's always great to have you here. You have a wonderful night and take it easy and sleep well. I need everything that I haven't got. Uh, one. I'm going to pop this thing up here. So I need to build this. Uh, I'm also going to need... Grab some of these. No, not those. Uh, some of these. These and some more of these. I see why I've ground to a halt and why nothing's working. Because I made a mistake with... I placed a container down on one of these ports, so it's bypassing everything and it's just filling up with ore. So nothing has been made. So I'm going to solve that problem with the ingots right now. Just with this little bypass. And this should now fill up with ingots. There it goes. Okay. That's that. Um, then... This one... Go go problem is this one here uh, then we're gonna just bypass this one so basically until all the ore is processed I've kind of screwed myself over a little bit but not not massively just a little bit Production shall now resume. Energy low. Shut up. So iron and cobalt can now be utilized. But what we need to do is this these are completely bunged up. So I need to take like some of this. And free up some of this space here. 
Uh, this stuff can actually make things. linked up right this connects in the bottom oh they can't share components through the small holes can they oh shit i'm an idiot wait so that has to be there right Does that fix the problem i think that should fix the problem Make sure you hydrate. Okay. Why are they not working? These have... They're not... It, they're not getting the resources they need from the from the uh, the main assembler. The main assembler isn't feeding the resources through, so I need to move every resource from the main assembler uh, in back into this. So the main assembler. this stuff here. Oh, that is completely full as well. Oh, man. Now, there we go. Now it's working better. Man, they were just completely full. this stuff in here there we go i know it doesn't need any of that right that's now doing its thing uh put nine thousand in there drop the other stuff in there this one's still got way too much stuff in here so let's take I'm not going to be able to hold all that. Let's put, like, a couple of thousand in there and take, like, a load of this out of here. Put all of that in there. We'll put some silicon in here as well. So, yeah, basically, I've just gacked everything up. That's my problem. I've just completely gacked everything up. Uh, what else is filling? So that one's better. This one's got way too much stuff in it, so. Let's do. Let me take more out. So much in this. Flip those down. That's better. 20,000. This is really full. iron out of this one take another 10,000 out of this now, I, I've got the storage now it's just the machines are, are bunged up so I need to empty the machines out before they will work again the storage is now done it's all done completely sorted Let's put that in there okay good this is now done so all of this is storage it's massive amounts of storage I just kind of messed up. No holes! But 
the, I don't know why they're not sharing. Like, these are all linked up. All of these are completely linked up. These should be sharing ingots. And they, they're able to. These are completely able to share ingots as well. There's no reason why they shouldn't be sharing. Unless I just to, just to fix it for the minute, I think I might have to create a, a double loop around the back so it will actually anything that needs to be shared it can share. Then once it's empty, then I can actually get around and fix it properly at some point, which I can't be asked to do now. Too much effort. Um, let's do all of these. 300 of these. Uh, 300 of them. Uh, these. And this. God damn you and your holes. Now this loot back, it will mean they can share resources from the output side. Right? They're still not doing it. So what I'm going to do is... I think it's just got really fucky. I'm going to... I'm going to cancel everything that's on the on the go in production. Because it's just... It's broken. There's no reason why they shouldn't be working. Apart from I think the game is bugged. And it's just saying no. So I'm going to go back and re-hotbar everything. And try again. There's no reason for it not to be working. And we do know this game this game does like to break. Yeah, if uh, yeah, I, I know it's just if you do something and then you you make it upset, it just throws a hissy fit and it's like, yeah, I'm not going to work now. So I have so much gold and platinum and iron. Why are you not grabbing? I've actually got... Um... I I don't like getting into scripts. I'm not that into... It, it, they are good, but I'm just not into the game enough to be dealing with all of that nonsense. It's got... um We got easy inventory on, but that's incorporated into the base game. I'm, I'm pretty good. If I if you saw my my uh, base down on Earth, like you'll see that I'm pretty in control of all this stuff. For some reason, it's just been fucky at the minute, and it's because I screwed up with this, and then it's messed the whole thing up. I on down there on um, Earth, like I have a full auto sorter, auto smelter, auto assembler, and auto stacker system. Um, it's just a bit broken here. Yeah, ICs are great. Hidden Shadow Reaper, welcome to the stream. Great to see you here. Hope you're doing well. What I'm going to do is... Um, I'm actually going to... I'm going to separate that. And then I'm going to change this. And on here, I'm going to switch... Add on here uh, ingots. And I'm going to drain all the ingots out of my assemblers. You do what I told you to do. Ingots. Whitelist. Drain all. Oh, yeah. Something's just... Something is very broken right now. Something is just very broken. It's not even letting me pull the ingots out. Um, it seems like something has just broken. It's, that's all it is. The, it, like the game has done nothing but it's just broken itself. Uh, all of this stuff should be getting pulled through and down.
Yep. It's just broken. I probably need to quit and restart the game, to be honest with you. This is a this is a quit and restart sort of thing. There's absolutely no reason for any of this to be happening. Apart from it's broken. Or is this full? No, it's not even it's not even full. So it should it should be able to uh, pull it all out. Let me change this. Let me change this to I'm gonna remove components for the minute. I'm going to uh, do a sort of coming out of this. Uh, oh. Where's the fucking thing? I'm going to program this one to whitelist ingots and brain. Then I'm going to grab these ingots and connect them up to this. Let's see if it'll let me pull them out this way for some weird ass reason. Energy low. Oh, bloody energy in this game. To be fair, it's lost me quite a long time. Yeah, you don't need the solar panel one now anyway, because we've got um, these smart rotors. They are the hopped up version of ICs. It's superior to ICs one. These ones, uh, it's a super, super good mod. It's um, the, before this mod was on there, you had to use a script. Now it's already got the script enabled automatically in the block. This is these ones are so much better. Oh, they're, they're, they're way easy to use. I'll um, I'll even I can build one to um, just to, like demonstrate it if needs be. But it's they're super easy. It's way better than the scripts. Yeah, I think we need a game restart. Like this should be pulling all the ingots out and then into that. But nothing is moving. Like these are just frozen. Look, these things are just they're frozen in time. There's like. Oh, is it power? Have we got a power issue, maybe? Oh my god, what the fuck was that about? Have we got a power issue? Uh, yeah, I've done this on this. I've set it to brain all ingots. Same as this one. Brain all ingots. It should be. Yeah. Brain all ingots. I, I think something has just stopped working. Something in this game right now has just stopped working. I'm gonna do a quick uh, I'm gonna do a quick restart because I think it's honestly that. I've had to restart the game a few times just because things literally stop working within the game. So we'll give this a go first. The assemblers, the assemblers can't force pull it because... Oh, here we go. The, the assemblers can't force pull because I've disengaged it from the other side. You you can force pull everything out of the assembler into a crate. I've done it on Earth, like 100% know what I'm doing is right. It's just not doing it. That massive auto system I set up on Earth, like I'm doing the exact same thing where the stuff goes from the uh, the top hopper into the, ore into the ore storage. It goes from the storage into the refiner. It goes from the refiner... Back in, into the uh, ingots. Gives some ingots to assemblers. And the assembler loops around. The thing that doesn't get used goes back in. It's literally just something has been... Something's been fucky for the sake of being fucky. There we go. So we'll see if this if a reset works. If not, then it's just going to be a thing, a, a thing with the game. Here we go. Bop. Don't need to apologize for being AFK. That is absolutely okay. Let's see if this sorts anything. This 
the brain all functions should just suck everything out. So, because I've disconnected the um, all the previous inlets to it, there's there's no no way for anything to go into the assemblers. It's just going to pull everything out regardless. It's just super super weird. I know, right? The absolute cheek of it. Yeah, Space Engineers has uh, gone. It's just it's broken. That explains a lot. <laughs> to fix this, I have to restart my computer. It's 10 o'clock. I'm absolutely exhausted from work. So I'm probably just going to wrap up the stream there. So I can do an entire PC restart to fix the issue that Steam then has. Which doesn't let me boot any game up. And this happened yesterday. It happened again when I got back from work. And it's doing it again. And so last time Space Engineers stopped working. I had to do a full system restart in order to sort it out. And then when I logged on. Everything started working again. So it's obviously just kicked back in that cycle. No idea why it happens. Um, it seems to have. I have an issue with Steam. Which then means I have to restart my PC. Because Steam needs to completely reboot. Even if I use Task Manager and I shut down Steam and reboot it, it doesn't fix the problem. I have no idea. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I want to give a quick shout out to uh, to Sheikha and uh, Angel for the follows that happened yesterday. It's awesome of all of you. Um, Janison from the Lurk. Damn, not had that happen to you yet. Hopefully it doesn't. It's just incredibly broken. And uh, Steam has been really fucky with me lately. Like, I've been playing some really low-end games and then they start getting jittery. It crashes, and then I cannot, for the life of me, load a game back up. It just closes, closes, closes. Unless I restart my PC, so then restart Steam through that process, it physically doesn't work. So I don't know if it's just me or if anybody else has had issues with Steam, but Steam has been causing me, just mainly today more than anything, huge problems. It's it's crazy problematic, but there we go. Um... So yeah, I streamed today because obviously I didn't stream Tuesday. Uh, work has been absolutely crushing me lately. So a little bit of a, 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 a shorter stream so I can actually go and put my feet up for a bit and relax would be good for me. Um, I am going to... Um, it's, it's half term, by the way, for all schools, colleges and places. So I have a two-week break uh, coming up from next week. So I'm going to be doing some much longer streams. We're going to be getting into Dying Light 2. I'm going to be doing some nice six to eight hour streams. Hopefully... Uh, like three or four on the trot in the first week of the half term so we can really smash through the game i'm going to be doing a bit of uh traveling the second week uh, i've got my daughter for the weekend so we we'll back to some shorter streams the second week of half term so i hope you can all join me for some uh, nice long drawn out uh, drawn out streams and we can make the most of dying light 2 pardon me and see what it has to offer uh see that's a nice lot of you joining in the stream right now it'd be amazing if we could go and raid somebody uh, somebody on my list right now we have lily air she's a uh, a lovely uh, a lovely streamer there's a good few of my friends uh follow her and i met her through them uh, so we're gonna go and give lily air a nice raid she's only got six viewers so it'd be great to add to that please stick around for the raid spam some emotes uh do whatever it is that you do show your crazy ass support as always and uh, I will be seeing you lot either on the weekend or on Sunday for a stream. Failing that, it will be Monday. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, as always, happy gaming. Take it easy. And I'll see you all later. Stick around for the raid. <laughs>